we didn't anticipate making this video today. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. How's it going? But some kind of wild things have been going on. In but also it is the eve of the playoffs for the end of NWSL. We've been talking about it, so we are looking forward to that. So let's go OL Reign. And Gotham. Yep. I'm thinking I'm, they're gonna win. They're gonna win. Uh, of course. I'm going to make it happen. I'm putting out the vibes in the universe. So that will be tomorrow. Something that came out today, two major, major things involving one person came out today. But we got word early earlier today, Emma Hayes, who has been with Chelsea for the last 11 years, announced, well, Chelsea announced that she at the end of the WSL season will be leaving the team, resigning, leaving the team, um, that she will no longer be the coach. Yeah, and I mean, that was pretty surprising because 11 years, that's like super long time. So Chelsea posted on their Instagram, Chelsea FC can today confirm that highly decorated Chelsea women's manager Emma Hayes, OBE, will depart the club at the end of the season to pursue a new opportunity outside of the WSL and club football. So we got that word. I mean, that word was shocking in itself. You know, she's leaving. She's been, been with the team for so long, so many accolades. She's, she's done so much with the club. So many people respect her there. The fans love her. The players love her. A lot of people go to Chelsea just because they want to play underneath, play with Emma Hayes. Uh, so that was shocking to hear um, that come out. So that was the first bit of news. And we're thinking, okay, that's kind of crazy. And you know, at the very end, it says... She is pursuing opportunity outside WSL and outside club football. So at the time, I don't know if anyone thought anything necessarily. But if you remember, we did a video last last video and we kind of briefly touched on it that the U.S. Women's National Team had a short list, um, a short list that we talked about. It was three names, Laura Harvey, Tony Guvaston and and Joe Montemoro. And that was the short list. You know, I think a lot of people thought it was going to be Laura Harvey from that list. And I think a lot of people thought, you know, that was a good solid choice and people would be happy. And then people also thought there were more names in the bucket, but those were just the ones that were on the forefront. Mm, yeah, the ones that like stood out. And then we got word today, the news kind of broke, that the U.S. Women's National Team are set to hire Emma Hayes as their new as their new manager. A source tells Backheeled, Hayes will continue with Chelsea until the end of the WSL season. She may join the U.S. Women's National Team during international breaks before taking over fully. U.S. Women's National Team set to hire Emma Hayes. I mean, uh, I, this was not. I was not anticipating this. This was unexpected. You know, I think a lot of people, when initially the idea of Emma Emma Hayes was thrown out there a couple months ago when we knew Vladka was leaving, everyone's like, yeah, that'd be great. Emma Hayes, she's amazing. Such a solid coach. I mean, more than solid. Such an amazing coach who really understands football and tactics and everything. Um, but people didn't really think it was going to happen. Yeah, kind of like the Serena Vigman thing. I think a lot of people maybe wanted it, but didn't think logistically how would that work. Um, so that is the news. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of people are saying she's going to be the coach at Chelsea for the till the end of the season. The end of the season ends in June for the WSL. The you know the women's national the U.S. women's national team want want to gear up for the Olympics over the summer. How does that work? She's going to be coaching both at the same time. I mean, like you just read from this article, she will go to the U.S. for international breaks and coach. And then maybe teleconference, other strategy meetings while she's in England. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I can't even rock my head around that. That's wild. It's very strange. But I think maybe the thought for the U.S. Women's National Team was Emma Hayes would be such a catch to get as coach. We'll make anything happen. Even if a lot of people are saying, even if the short term is the Olympics, yes, we would like to do well at the Olympics. But even if we don't, okay, we still have Emma Hayes. It, it's a building process. We have so much talent that is very young. Jaden Shaw, we just talked about Mia Fischel, mm -hmm. Alyssa Thompson, you know, even like Trinity Rod Rodman, still really young. That it's just like, this is for the future more than anything than the Olympics next year. Yeah, that's very true. And then also, this is, I've made me think about this in figure skating, a lot of the very top athletes have the same coach. There are two or three skaters that all have the same exact coach for the Olympics, you know, that's their coach. So, I mean, 
individual people and uh, two whole teams. It's a little <laughs> bit different. <laughs> yeah, it's a little weird. It's a little wild. It's like co-parenting in different countries. Yeah, it just it's wild because also the timing of this being released right now is weird too. Apparently, according to Telegraph sports sources, the, we understand Chelsea's players were told of Hayes' exit shortly after beating Aston Villa 6-0. The Chelsea players officially were told that Emma Hayes was leaving today after their big win against Aston Villa, which is a little wild to, to that's how they're finding out. And then the whole news breaks internationally. You know, it, the timing is a little weird. Mm -hmm. There was also an article that said that the U.S. the U.S. women's national team, their players got an email this morning on Saturday morning that the um, Emma Hayes was going to be picked to be their coach. Like uh, people are bringing up like Mia Fischel. Mia Fischel plays for U.S. Women's National Team and she's a Chelsea player. Kat Macario too, even though Kat Macario has been hurt. It's like, did they know the news and then they couldn't tell Chelsea players? It's kind of like, depending on what time those emails were sent out to every player or when they were announced, was there any type of like overlap of where the U.S. US players knew, but the Chelsea one's different. That would be interesting. And no, no one has suggested that because after the game ended, uh, Aston Villa game ended, I'm not sure what time it was in the States. So that that is a question that would be kind of weird if the U.S. players knew before the Chelsea players. They kind of know the secret and they can't tell their their teammates, oh, Emma is not going to be the coach after the season. Or even people brought up, you know, Christy, I'm sure found out and d didn't text Sam, said, hey, your coach is not going to be your coach, which is a little wild, you know. Oh my God, they're fighting over mommy. <laughs> <laughs> is that weird? I'm going to read a little bit of this article. Emma Hayes set to lead U.S. Women's National Team through post-World Cup transition. The U.S. Women, the U.S. Women's National t Soccer Team has turned to Emma Hayes, a longtime English coach, to improve its fortune as the worst World Cup performance in the program's acclaimed history. Hayes, who has guided Chelsea to four consecutive Women's Super League championships, agreed to a long-term contract and is awaiting approval from the U.S. Soccer Federation Board of Directors. Four, pe four people familiar with the deal said Saturday. An emergency board meeting was called, one person said. The U.S. players were informed of the decision in an email Saturday. Two people familiar with the situation said. The USSF declined to comment. Chelsea announced Saturday that Hayes would depart from the club at the end of the season to pursue a new opportunity outside of the WSL and club football. It did not specify her next job. In the announcement, Hayes did not comment on her future. Chelsea's season, however, does not end until May, a timetable that com that conflicts with the U.S. team's preparations for the Paris Olympics in July and August. It is unclear how the arrangement will work over the next six months, during which time the Americans will have three training camps and several matches, including the regional championships known as the CONCACAF W Gold Cup in early 2024. In the email to the players, the USSF said Hayes would over- oversee the four four tune-ups between late May and early July leading up to the Olympics, one person said. Hayes' potential salary is unclear. Some board members could demand the USSF pay Hayes the same as men's coach Greg Berhalter, whose $1.6 million salary dwarfed that of the former women's coach Vladko Andonovsky, about 450000 While the women's players have successfully earned equal pay and working conditions as the men, the enormous gap in coaching salaries has remained. So that kind of just laid out kind of what we talked about too, how the, the players found out, the U.S. Women's National Team players found out, and also the timetable, how she was she's going to be able to coach both Chelsea and U.S. Women's National Team. And also, should they pay her the same as Greg Berhalter? I, I think so, absolutely. Yes, of course, of course. Equal pay, equal slay, bitch. <laughs> Not even a question in my mind, you know, pay her. Emma Hayes, I think it's amazing, you know, she has coached in America, she's coached in the U.S. collegiately, she coached, she coached in the um, league in America, I don't know if it was the NWSL at that point, it might have been the, the league that was previous to that league, she's lived in America, and she knows America, so that's also good, and she's a tough cookie, you know, she's not a yes man, you know, a lot of coaches, 
you know, the 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 Federation I we talked about with Vladko, one I think wanted a yes person in a lot of ways. Emma Hayes is not that person. She's gonna she'll do anything to win, you know. Remember we watched some of her documentary with Chelsea. I mean, the women were posting uh foods they probably should not have been sharing, and she said, well, I don't know why you guys are posting that. You know, things like that. So she's tough. Or maybe they weren't supposed to be eating that because they were supposed to be training and so it should be interesting. I she's a known winner, she's brilliant. So many people uh, really respect her. And a lot of people, I was just kind of reading on uh, around the web, a lot of people, you know, we were talking about Alex Morgan kind of not having the production she used to. A lot of people who I was reading said, she, Emma Hayes is the type of coach that, you know, star isn't performing. I know you're the star, but you're, you're going to be, you know, benched. I hate, you know, whatever word you want to use. You're going to be benched, you know, not in a mean way, but in, we want to win kind of way. Hey, got to do it for the team. Yeah, so it will be interesting. What does everyone think? I'm mostly interested in what the Chelsea fans are thinking. Are they mad at the U.S. because they, they took Emma away? Or they're happy that Emma might be getting this $1.6 million? And No, I'm guessing the Chelsea fans are very angry. They hate us. And they want to cancel us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Well, also, what does the U.S. You know, and I'm thinking, and if you're a U.S. women's national team fan and you're not, pumped about this choice let us know too because i can't imagine i i I would imagine the overall yeah i'm guessing the overall reception is very positive because she's the boss but also i wonder if people are thinking hey the fact that she's going to do double duty is kind of like in a lesson what uh she can do for the u.s women's national team kind of like is this the best choice because of that what does everyone think questions comments down below this is wild who would have thought we're making this video um, but it is very exciting and I, she really, she, you know, she's a tough cookie. She, questions, comments down below. We'll talk to everyone later. Have a great night. Bye.